What up, tubers? Welcome back to another constructed video here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. We're going to do this historic metagame challenge, another more shakeup from uh, the normal drafts we've been doing. We'll bring them back eventually, and uh, War of the Spark is actually on flashback here. Uh, this upcoming week but for now let's do something a little bit different again and i am going to play this historic uh, event with bant hammer just a list that i picked up online um and uh, yeah we'll quickly go over it so you have a bunch of cheap creatures the main plan of this game is to win via i guess this belt of giant strength i don't remember what that does equip creatures base power and toughness 10 10 and it has a huge equip cost and then you have the Colossus Hammer, um, which gives the creature plus 10, plus 10, and loses flying. But you have ways to reduce the cost of these equips. For example, Kemba is an auto-equip. Then you have four Sigarda's Aid. You may cast uh, Auras and equipment as though they had flash. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under control, you may attach it to target creature you control, so that's a free equip. And then you have this Kemba Outfitter card uh, where you can give an equipment one mana to uh, equip, whether it's in your hand or on the battlefield already. And then you have some like just randomly cheap creatures and whatnot um, to, to get there. It looks like I'm supposed to companion this Lurus. Why is this a 13 card sideboard? I'm not sure what got lost in translation here, but again, this was just a copy paste. I'm not gonna bother putting in two more cards. I mean, I guess I could just put in Two more random portable holes or something. Again, I have no idea what's in um, what's in this format. Oh, is that two? No, we can go four. All right, great. Nope, that doesn't work. We can go do one more get lost or something. Sure, good enough. So let's take this for a spin and uh, see if we can hammer out some folks in this historic metagame challenge thingy. Some good win or some good prizes if you can get some decent number of wins, but uh, yeah, give it a shot. All right, off to round one here. Be on the play, genius move. Ah, this hand does not have any equipment stuff, but I'm not sure I can mulligan a double Esper Sentinel hand. Seems probably too good. Lead on Thicket. You always want to lead on these fast lands, otherwise they can and will enter tapped later on. Turn 1 Evolving Wilds. Okay. For a Mountain. Second Retrofitter Foundry. Not the greatest. Uh, I'm going to go play a tap land here instead of shocking myself and playing out a retrofitter, I think. Red, black, easterling, vanguard. All right. I don't see a reason to run out the ornithopter right now, right? No idea if the opponent's running some deck that's standard or this is some weird brew. Looks like some weird brew, I would guess. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you put a 1 1 counter on that. Okay. This is an extremely bad draw. Yikes. Wow. I guess I probably should have mulliganed. Maybe this deck is too uh, too much in need of having a couple of the correct pieces. Cast into a fire. Wow. Jeez. So we're probably just going to have to get lost there. Uh... Cl 
Cold Blade then. That was brutal. Punished for not running out my Ornithopter. Would have prevented one damage there. Are you... What? We've drawn all four? Come on. And I guess... I either return Luris or I just Foundry. I guess I'm just gonna Foundry here. Trebuchet. <laughs> okay. I mean, I probably should have traded one of the Thopters off for that thing, but... Or not Thopters, the Servos, but... Oh wait, I can sack the Ornithopter, that's right. Oh, I messed up there. Derp. I totally forgot I can sack Ornithopter to Foundry. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, well... Good lesson learned there. Uh, let's return Lurus to our hand and just pass. Yeah. Duh. Forgot. Right, that doesn't matter. We're on like the, a Lord of the Rings deck. It's kind of funny. Yeah, we're doing fine. Despite my mistakes, we're still doing fine. Oh god, the Ornithopter with Luris too. Whoa! Ornithopter, Luris, and Retrofitter Foundry. Jeez. The cogs are turning. Everything is making more sense now. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is actually a pretty long event, potentially, as it is a uh, best of three. Yeah, it looks like they're just playing some, like, uh, some Lord of the Rings intro deck or something. So we can just block here. Make a 4-4. Four, four. Another 4-4. Four, four. Cast another Ornithopter from Luris. Back with all. You got me. <laughs> what the heck? All four foundries. Yay, 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 yay. Pretty funny if they have a way to blow up all, all artifacts. Grishnach. Yeah, I can just sack it in response. Yes. 
so I can put them to one here, right? Oh, no, no, wait. I think I have exactly lethal. Yeah, we have exactly lethal here. Nice. <laughs> they can block four of the four power creatures, and then one of them will get through in addition to the one one. All right, I mean, I have to imagine that was a very strange game for this deck. Um, again, we're trying to win with equipment, and we didn't see a single one. Do we even want to bring in any of these cards versus them? I don't think I need to. I think we can probably just keep our game plan. I mean, maybe the spell pierce isn't relevant. Let's bring in one of the random removal spells. Non-token. Okay, so that doesn't work. So I guess we just want portable hold for their big armies. Seems good enough. Be funny now if we just kill them on like turn four with some uh, big equipment draws. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now the Belt of Strength only costs one to equip. It's kind of spicy. Green here. Two one haste enlist whenever it enlists a non-token creature may conjure duplicate into the top five of your library that perpetually okay whatever. Oh, wow. Um I guess I just want to play out another threat, don't I? And then put the Colossus Hammer to cost one. And hit him for 12, or no, 10. <laughs> we can just kill him next turn if they don't have another creature to block, right? We play Sigarda's Aid. And then flash out the hammer and equip our 2-1. Uh, oh, I guess not. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they messed up. What What on earth? Deals 2 damage to our creature and opponent controls. Destroy all equipment. Oh, so they, they needed to do that on my uh, outfitter that had the belt attached. One of these weird cards, man. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Something, something, something. Okay. Want to know? Let's get the max wins. Let's hammer, hammer, hammer. <laughs> On the play. Nice. Good looking hand. Okay. So Mana Confluence, Sentinel. Don't think there's any reason to run out the Ornithopter yet, right? Oh wow, okay, well, kind of doing it already. Turn two, take 11. Now we do want to run out the Ornithopter, because if they kill the Esper Sentinel, the Belt of Giant Strength on the Ornithopter is also lethal. This is like the dream curve. This is a turn three kill. <laughs> uh... 
There you go. That's how this deck is supposed to play. All right, they're gonna exile the the uh, equipment, play a tap land, but we just win now, right? Turn three, baby. Turn three, GG. All right, get lost comes out. We want to bring in. Shadow Spear out. We want to bring in more spell pierces versus control. Um, I bet you Lantern it would probably be fine versus them as well. But given we don't know anything else about their deck, what did they do? They just played two blue white lands. We'll just bring in the spell pierces. Ah, that was pretty funny. The dreamy draw confirmed. Uh, yeah, that hand's good, too. So two different ways I could do this. I could outfit her turn one and then hammer equip turn two. But I think since I'm on the draw, I would rather sentinel turn one for the uh, card draw. Okay, that was a good turn. Hmm, okay. Well, I mean, it's possible I should not have ran out the hammer yet. Make them hold open more mana on their turn. Let's just put Luris to our hands. They are going to get all of the Ornithopters out of my deck. <laughs> we don't mind that, right? Of course we don't want to draw any more Ornithopters. Well, we also don't want to draw more land. Sure. So the Kalem control deck. We want to draw one of our retrofitter foundries for this match. And all those things are more expensive. Getting back our um, outfitter wasn't actually bad, though. Because if we do draw one of our fatties again, you know. Or I can just draw nothing but land. That's good too. Sheesh. Wow. Yeah, brutal draw this time. Guess it's only fair though. We nut drew them first game and now we draw terribly here in our second game. Ten lands drawn? How many lands are in this deck? Twenty-one lands, so we've drawn about half of our lands. Yikes. Wow. Ten lands and sixteen draws, yeah. Okay, good beats. It's fine. What is going on? We've drawn over half of our lands now. Absurd. No, 
All right. Well, they have one of the Callums now on the battlefield. All right. I've seen enough here. Yowza. 12 of our 21 land? That's insane. Okay. Well, now we do know for sure that they are more controlly. What is Callum's exact wording? So yeah, looks like Soul Guide Lantern actually seems fine versus them. Um, maybe just cut one of these reality. Actually, reality. No. Well, no, that's good enough too. Maybe shave one or ornithopter is okay. All right, high roll first game, low roll second game. We'll be on the play at the very least for this third game. Let's see if we can beat up the control player. They do have a lot of good tools versus us, though. They have the Divine Purges. They have the Supreme Verdicts. Um, the Fragment, whatever card. That's good. Okay. So we're going to go for the Outfitter this time, since we're on the play. And if they just have a tap land, we're going to hit them for 12. Nice. Okay. Big beats. Callum? Sure. Um... I guess I'd rather Foundry here, but either way, if they have the Divine Purge, we're going to get a little bit wrecked. Pass is nice. Okay, we can sack the Thopter. Yeah, we want to leave our Sentinel unequipped, I think, and go to combat. And we're just returning Luris this turn. We don't need to put any more pressure out. They need to hit an untapped white source, which they did. Oh, man! Next card would have won the game! Damn, okay. I still think we're in good shape here. We have the Pierce available as well. Remember, Supreme Verdict cannot be countered. So if they have Verdict here, that's going to suck. But at the very least, I will draw a card. Let's just go to combat. Okay. Uh, I'm okay running out another Outfitter here to make the Hammer in my hand cost one. Fine. Sure. Visible Stalker might still get them here. They need the verdict. Okay, combat.
settle the wreckage. I'm going to draw a card, we're going to spell Pierce, and we're going to win the game. Perfect. Whoo, baby. Yeah, when this deck high rolls, man, it is kind of fun. Two wins. Go, go, go. It looks like you can only win, or you cannot lose, rather. You have to win, 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 win. If you lose, you're out, so. Kind of a high-risk, high-reward. I mean, the entrance fee wasn't too bad. What was it, 400 gems or 1,000, 2,000 gold, but. Yeah, winning feels good. Oh, no! How long have I been blurry for? Blame the hammer. Turn one Blood Moon is my opponent's name. That would be a disaster for this deck. They are also on Luris. All right, hand looks good. We don't have the turn two hit him for a million, but we have the turn one outfitter with the belt in hand, if nothing else. Changeling. Oh, are they fairies or something? Ninja ninjas, rather? Not fairies. Oh, it could be fairies. I have no idea what kind of deck would run outcast except for fairies or changeling or fairies or uh, ninjas, right? Yeah, here comes some ninjutsu. Love it. Oh, we're just playing Modern Horizons draft over here. They got... Oh, wait. Moon Circuit Hacker is not from Modern Horizons, but I guess the uh, Outcast is. They left up one mana, huh? That's a little bit sussy, so I think what I'm going to do here is just go to combat for three and not equip this turn. Or not go for the equip this turn. And then play out the Foundry underneath a Spell Pierce. And I will run out one Sigarda's Aid. And if they counter this, I can run out the other, no problem, right? Perfect. So we played around the Spell Pierce. But yeah, obviously don't want to get the Belt Spell Pierced. So they get to loot. Ornithopter for ninjutsu. Boundary they can turn into a 4-4. And a cut down on the outfitter. Alright, well we're just going to put them on a two turn clock now, so... Ten ten invisible stalker. This good. Hopefully they don't have a way to make me sacrifice a creature or like bounce. The, oh no, bouncing the belt I guess doesn't work because we have Sigarda's aid. Oh, Tawara was a way to bounce, and Sigarda's aid gives him flash, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Right, blue black ninjas. Looks like the portable hole is gonna be good versus them. I don't think we need spell pierce. No. Um yeah, let's bring in a couple of portable hole, a few portable holes and just cut like a chip or something. Good, 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 good. <sighs> hmm, no equipment. I guess I'll keep it, but 
it might not work out. Ah, well, there you go. In that case, turn one outfitter it is. <laughs> Pass. Combat. Don't really care if they make a token in trade. Outcast. And the master. Alright, nice. Well, you know what time it is. Belt, equip, two turn clock, let's go. This is pretty stupid. 10 10, unblockable, hex proof. I mean, yeah, if they didn't have Otawara there, then uh, that was going to be that. Okay. <sighs> Deck doing stupid things. We get 2,000 gold in three packs now. You get 5,000 gold 30 packs if you get seven wins. Actually, the, the prize payouts for the top end are kind of nice. On the die roll, great. Uh, yeah, this is fine, actually. Two Ornithopters with uh, Retrofitter Foundry in hand. I don't think we run out the second Ornithopter yet, right? Because then they would potentially be able to kill one after I sacked the first. Okay, turn one Dragon Rage Channeler versus turn one four four. Probably a pretty good draw there as well. <laughs> Surveil. I don't think we counter Kumano. I don't think that's relevant enough. Oh, do they just keep a one lander? Okay, this game's over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, Spell Pierce out. Get Lost out. All the portable holes in. Probably want Fragment Reality too. I don't think we need these Reality Chips. Just draw well. That's all you need to do. Draw well. And looks good. The Swifty turn one. There's the Sigarda's eight as well. My belt has a one mana equip now. I do need to find some more creatures. That's good. If they kill the sentinel, we need to have the uh, boundary to make some creatures too. That's fine, I get to draw a card here. <laughs> Wrist to their hand, we're fine with. Did 
This is a little bit sus. As it might have actually been better to not run out the Sentinel until I could auto-equip Belt to it. I mean, if they don't kill my Sentinel here... Okay, that's basically game over. End of turn, we make the Sentinel 2-2 two, two lifelink. And then we belt. And that's 11 lifelink, thank you. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is pretty funny. Five packs now, 2,500 gold. It's the good, let the good times keep rolling. <laughs> Won the die roll again, and is great again. This time we're against Gigantha, whatever that means. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go for it. I guess it's better to play out the Sentinel turn one, since we have Sigarda's aid into Hammer. So they're probably Boros Convoke with that, I would think. Turn to attack for 11. Oh, Kaldatha, three blockers. Nice. I get to draw a card, and we have Invisible Stalker next turn, so. They have another Ornithopter, I guess. Oh no, they have the Loxodon? That's a little greedy, because now if I kill the Loxodon, they're straight up dead. Hmm. I mean, I guess it is right to make them chump with their 4-4. Four, four. And I'm pretty sure we do shock ourselves here. All right, hammer on stalker, GG's. <sighs> Spell pierce out. Actually, this is not a great matchup for us because our removal's kind of weak versus them. Like, actually really, really weak versus them. Because they just go super wide, so like a one portable hole is not the answer we need. It's probably better than get lost, but not by much. We're going to need to have a good Shadow Spear draw is probably my guess. But seeing as there's only one Shadow Spear in the deck, we're going to need to get lucky. I mean, I guess if we can get an Ornithopter plus Boundary draw, that would be good. Just an early 4-4. Four, four. Block. I mean, it has the Hammer Stalker, but this is actually a losing hand versus them, I think, right? <sighs> Especially since I'm going to have to sh shoot myself so many times with both of these lands. Okay, that was a good draw. That is slightly annoying. Yikes.
Yeah, this is really bad for us, and I'm drawing another pain land. Yeah. They have the locks on? Okay, they didn't lock it on. Belt is on top. Yeah, we're pretty dead here. War leader's call or something incoming. Warden's pretty bad for us. We can probably just concede this. It's too slow. I can't equip the... any of my equipment next turn, and I have to keep pinging myself. And I have to still play, equip, and attack. Yeah, no, this is... We're dead here. Not gonna waste time. We need the fourth land. Just cut another reality chip for another portable hole, I think. Was it a slightly premature scoop? Sure, I wasn't technically dead next turn. Um, on the, at least on board, but... I would have to, yeah, it, it, it just wasn't winnable. So we'll go to game three. All right, game three of this round, match, whatever. Be on the play. It's a mulligan. Oh, man. Yeah, it's good enough. Needs to find a land, though. So this is a turn one foundry ornithopter and make a 4-4 four, four. and then hoping we find a land in the next couple draw steps, but... Nice. All right, that's good. Again, the issue here being they can make so many blockers. That because we don't have, um, yeah, because we don't have invisible stalker, they can just chump for so, so long. Enter or another cat enters control, attach up to one target equipment, you control to that creature. I don't think we want to equip the Kemba, right? But we do want to make them start chumping. Yeah, I'd say we're losing this. I can spend a couple turns to foundry and make a flying creature, but... Yeah, see? Two more blockers this turn. We're losing for sure. And again, even if I draw the Invisible Stalker next turn, it's a two-turn clock, not even a one-turn clock. So, they'd be able to swarm me. Okay. 
Invisible Stalker is now probably still too slow. In fact, what I probably need to draw is an Ornithopter to just immediate, immediately equip and make a big flyer so that the Warden doesn't beat me down too much. Because the Warden's about to gain flying and vigilance here. Wait, what was the format I played yesterday? Was it Pioneer? No, what was the... What was the format for the qualifier event yesterday? Is every format just dominated by uh, some Boros Convoke? Because I think I've heard in standard Boros Convoke is also a thing, right? I wasn't playing Historic, right? Was I? Alright, top, sack. Ugh. Take four, go to eleven. Oh wait, doesn't Colossus lose his oh this doesn't even work on my ornithopter. I just remembered that the creature loses flying here. Oh, we're very dead. I guess if they... No, because I don't have a way to kill Knight Errant anymore. I took out a Get Lost. I was going to say, maybe if they completely brick on this somehow. Okay, hold up. That is exactly the card we needed. Um, four. so I'm going to go to 10 here, and I hope that they can't kill me. Oh, I should have attacked. They would have had to chump with one of their creatures, um, which wouldn't let them, or reduce the number of warden triggers they could do. Let's see. One, two, they need to tap three for these. So they can't kill me on board, but... That makes two permanents. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That hits me for eight. I'm at two on board. Oh, right. I guess they don't need to pump up the other warden. They could just pump the, the one they already have. And they topped. Oh, am I dead? No, they can't. Oh, they can. They can gleeful demolition the ornithopter. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, that's not good enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They can put me to like two. Phew. No, they can put me to one. One, two, three, one, two, three. No. They, they don't have enough. <laughs> Yikes. That was the last possible turn we could draw Invisible Stalker, and we got there. Oh, I was ready to pack it up, say my outros. <sighs> but it looks like we're going to pull this one off. Oh, wait. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Right? I'm not missing. One, two, three, nine. Excellent. Boom. <laughs> By the skin of our teeth. By the very, very skin of our teeth. Alright. 3,000 gold, 10 packs now locked up. Excellent. I'm rather enjoying myself. And maybe it's because uh, murders at Karlov Manor has left a sour taste in my mouth, but this is fine. Oh, 
Oh, we finally lost a die roll. That does not appear to be good enough to keep. Ship it down to six. Do we try to high roll and go to five, or we just try to draw an equipment, I guess? I'm gonna lose the creature. Or sorry, the creature interaction. Gilded Goose. Alright, a new deck we have not seen yet. heck is this card? Rope line attended. Enters the battlefield. Creature cards in your hand perpetually gain. When this creature enters, you make a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty bad here. I need to draw hammer next turn. Hammer next turn would give us a chance. Because then we would go Kemba's, make the hammer cost one to equip, play the hammer, equip the hammer to the stalker, GG. Oh, that's going to be some life gain. Alright. It's just green-white, Boros, if that makes sense. Green-white convoke this time instead of red-white convoke. So... Oh, it's the Yawgmoth Moth deck. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, well, I'm pretty dead to that since I don't have... Yeah, we're very dead to that. We would be okay maybe if I had an equipment, but... We got nothing going on. I guess I could still draw an equipment next turn, maybe? They don't have any combo here with Yawgmoth, right? Not yet. No. Are there any persist creatures they can get? Spell book time. So we simply block here with the Thopter and then sack it. Damn. Okay, I'll just scoop it up here. Got nothing going on. Uh... Pithing Needle on Yogmoth is not terrible. But do we really care about that? We want Portable Hole. This is an ETB, so once it resolves, it doesn't really matter. Getting rid of Goose or Innkeeper is like fine, right? I'm just going to cut all these reality chips. Let's bring in por four Portable Holes. I don't know. I don't know if I need to bring in Lantern, or I should be bringing in Lantern, but who knows if they have graveyard stuff. I'm, maybe they do. If they do, they do. On the play. There is a good hand. All right. I'm just going to play out Sigarda's aid here, turn one. Ah, okay, there is Undying, after all. Or Persist. Well, Undying, same thing, basically. Okay. It's fine. Uh, a 
land wins, actually. Yeah, untapped land would have won there. We would have hit, hit him for exactly 21 on turn 3. Wow, that's nuts! Yeah, apparition on the belt is not good enough. Hammer kills them. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Jeez, they had some good interaction, didn't they? All right. Um, let's ha hit them for one. I think we're going to portable hole their innkeeper this turn. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to hit the young wolf, but I think the innkeeper is more problematic right now. Yeah, Apparition is real good versus this deck, isn't it? Sheesh. All right, there's the Knight. Gain one. Oh, no, wait, they don't gain one. I took the uh, Innkeeper. But they can only search for a creature with three or less. Another Apparition, dang it. So we just need to hold on to this Colossus Hammer until, uh... I mean, I guess I might as well play this out. Until, uh... We find a way to immediately equip it. Alright, they're gonna get back their Innkeeper. Play the goose off of the freshly made. Not looking good for us. Oh, they have the plus one plus or er. wait, cord. I thought they had the. I thought they got the. Uh, what's it called? March the multitudes off the Amara. I guess they have the Yogmoth. Are we just dead to Yogmoth? I think we are, right? Because the young wolf, undying, plus the prosperous innkeeper's infinite life, and they get to wipe my board, and they get to draw infinite cards. Yeah, the first wolf. Sax puts a 1-1 counter on the second wolf. Yeah, and then they just repeat that process indefinitely. Well, actually, no. This isn't... No, no, no. We can still win, right? They, they don't have a way of gaining more life. This is just neutral. They needed a second innkeeper. So technically, I can still draw a way to equip my hammer and kill them with Stalker next turn. Yeah, so I don't give up yet, I just... We let them draw their deck. Oh, wait. I guess what happens is, was this created off of Amara? I don't actually know. No. I guess they find another Cord of Calling, and then they Cord for another Innkeeper. That's what happens. Gotcha. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Alright, and once they get another Innkeeper, I can concede, because I can't beat Infinite Life. Yep. Alright. Good enough. We just need to wait for them to show me. But Well, that's how the Yawgmoth deck works. If you're wondering, but hey, I am pleasantly surprised at uh, getting five wins here. So 3,000 gold, 10 packs at the cost of... Oh, they're garbage packs. They're random? At the cost of 2,000 gold or 400 gems. But in any case, if you want to take a peek at 
the deck list I just used. I'll show it on screen again so you can screenshot it. Fun little one. Nice, again, nice change of pace from uh, MKM Draft. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.